right around. Can I get closer, please? Uh, yes. Okay, so what we're going to do now is if you want to go and identify plants, if, you, if plants are your <laughs> thing, you, I'm yeah. quite happy for you to do that. Yes. I've got some yeah. sheets here. So you can actually take a sheet round and write down what species it is. You don't have to put the quantity down on the plants because there might be like thousands of them. Some of you want to go and play with the nets. These are called sweep nets and you'll need to go into the grass really hard like that. Take yourself a load of pots, there's pots here, and then carefully put your catch into a pot then if you bring it up to me, I will doubt be here. I'm not saying I can identify everything immediately. I will do my best, but I will photograph everything, record it, and then I will spend some time going through and identifying everything. How many spots? Uh, well, I don't know much about this, but what I do know is that there's probably a six spot then. <laughs> My role is to coordinate all the nature recovery action across the county. So I've got about 120 different member individuals, community groups, organisations of every kind. Um, interested in every habitat and species that we've got here. So what we're hoping to do is to create a state of nature report for the whole county and I'm, I'm rather hoping that these kind of churchyard bio blitzes might contribute some data for that so that we, we've got an idea you know, of, of, of what kind of nature is present across the county and then that will help us to know how we can put into place a nature recovery action plan to say how can we not just conserve what we've still got but also give those creatures a, a hope of being able to perhaps expand their habitat a little bit introducing neighbours to one another to create connectivity for biodiversity for nature and for people but I am going to put this one here, I think it's oh. called Peach Beauty. Oh. I'll double check the name. Oh. So if you want to carefully pass that round, there's another one there. Buy that one, it's very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. Now that one there is another marble miner. So if you can write one. Okay, this one here this is probably going to go, and that is why it's called a yellow wonderwing. Did you see the yellow flash? Mm. Okay, so if you're out um, in the fields in the when they've been haymaking and things like that, you'll find lots and lots of those around yellow wonderwings. Okay. There are the UK. Um, okay, then there's lots of pictures of the same one. Yeah, yeah. You've got to be quick to catch yeah. the bee. <laughs> Looks a bit like that. Oh, oh was it? Oh, oh, fine. Now, let's give it a, have you had a successful morning? Yes, I think yeah, so. Well, so very yes. informative. Yeah? Yes. What have you got on your list? Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I've got about 20, 20 flower varieties, including knapweed, uh, dock, red clover, bird's foot, trefoil, heart, tongue fern, sow thistle, oh my goodness, stitchwort, lesser stitchwort, yarrow, St John's wort. Do you want me to go on? <laughs> very good. Yeah. Yes. And of course you've done this before, haven't you? So, yes. so there's a comparison element to this? Yes, indeed. Yes, we yeah. did this last year. Oh. So, yes, but we will make comparisons because they'll be sent off Is to the... Bit? Um, no, it's not too late. Is it? but it's a database where all these records it's are kept. Not finished, yeah. Yeah.